Hello, Aaron. Aaron, it's you. Hi, Hi Rob. It's Tower of God, <laughs> episode uh, 11. 11. Yeah. Like, we're here. Two more episodes, and then that's the season. We're not going to see much of the tower, probably, because we're still on the no. same floor. And let's just say, this floor, I, I just want to know how... Someone might explain this to me. How big are these floors? <laughs> like, big. Planet size. Like, stupid sized. <laughs> because the floor they're on now, I don't know if that's taking place like the test. They didn't really describe where the test was taking place. I think they just kind of said, we're, okay, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Here are the things we'll be talking about. Uh, what's Bam's dream? That should be actually the last thing we talk about. The bull and the dolphin game. And we'll start with uh, the dolphin game. The dumb dumb dolphin game isn't the whole point of this test to test bam so that they can go to the onto the next floor with rachel but the entire point of the test is for them to sit in their little bubble and wait for their teammates to not let them get eaten by the wrong monster weirdly enough i never actually i didn't even consider it i didn't even think of that to be honest because... I, that that killed me from the first second i was like wait wait what so he got admit he got permission from the administrator, uh, which was the giant snake monster thing again. Didn't even that wasn't even a part of the whole thing. It was literally three seconds. He's like, okay, and then he's like, he said it was good, and then the rest of the test is okay. All of our friends have to make sure Bam doesn't die by getting eaten by the wrong creature. So how does that test Bam? Make an excellent point. I guess it's almost, yeah. Really, I don't know how 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 does it test Bam? It it really doesn't like. I, so I'm I'm but by the end of the episode, I think the point is not really to test Bam. It's to get rid of people that the corrupt official doesn't want in the tower anymore. Yeah, that that seems to be the reasoning of the test because like we bring up uh I forgot one of the administrators. This guy on screen right here kind of looks like a K-pop star. He's looking at the main administrator, Rio. Ryu? Wow, gosh. Good Whatever. Me. I don't care. I don't like him, so I don't remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's looking at him. He's like, oh, you got, you had this pr ready up. He's like, always be prepared. It's like, no, 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 no. This is a, this is a little too prepared. Like, yeah, people, people don't just have all this ready. So. Yeah, it seems it's not really testing Bam. It's, I guess it means like testing Bam's friends because you need people to go in the tower with. So, testing Bam is like that's why I think they were like last episode. Are you guys with Bam? You know, like are you guys but all the, with Bam? But they did it through that roundabout method of, oh, if you're gonna be with him, you have to denounce him a little bit. But you, but we get it. You're still all friends on the inside. So what was the point of that? You're you're making solid points. I didn't even think of until just. I now. know. <laughs> hey, what's the point of testing? I, I. Plus, they don't. They shouldn't care. Like they shouldn't care how they climb the tower. They're just there to climb the tower. They're just there to facilitate that. But instead, we have Mister Corrupt over here, being like, "No, I don't like you two, and probably not Bam and Rachel. So you know what? I'm gonna set up this test to mess up all of you, and people are gonna die." I, well, people already have died. It, yeah, two people, like. two people for dead. Like two of the background characters, they're already gone. It's like whatever. Uh I had something to say that you just brought up that I had. Uh, what was it? How does it test? Wow, you know when you had something on your mind and it just disappears. It just, just it just left my just whole gone. skull just gone. But uh, it'll come back up eventually, I'm sure. Real fast with the test. This is how the test works. So pretty much. It's pretty much don't let the, let them get eat by the right thing, let the dolphins do their job and stop the th the things that are trying to stop the dolphins from doing their job, which is stopping yeah. the goblins and stopping the dolphins' natural predator, and watching out for something known as the bull, which we'll see later on, or which we see later on, and yeah. I think the test like not for the reasons of Bam being tested or whatever, but I think the test is pretty cool, like a cool idea. I mean, it's a cool idea. It has cool visuals, but in quick biology note, by the way, they call them dolphins, but that's so obviously a, a seal. Yeah, I, 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 like, why? Like, why? What? Like, I get it's a different world, and it's like you can call it different things, but what? What's the? 
<laughs> like, you know, it, dolphins it, and seals, it, you know, sometimes it, it's the same well, animal. <laughs> it's not really, well, it's, it's one, me being nitpicky because I love biology, but two, if you have people reading it and they keep reading dolphin, but then the but then the creature looks exactly like a seal, then it just causes confusion in your head because in your brain you know what the word dolphin is associated with and what it's supposed to look like. So that's really just that's really just bad character naming or character design at that point. Just, but that's just me, and that, that, that and that's just being me being a soup a really big biology nerd. But at the same time, I still kept getting sidetracked. But I was like, it's not a fucking dolphin; it's a flipping seal. You, you have <laughs> so way more emotion. Here. You have so much emotion. I do. <laughs> I had no. I did not give a fuck. I read dolphin. I was like, all right, cool, whatever, and moved I got, along. I, oh, I I got so pent up on it. I hate stuff like that. I can't. Like I was watching a trailer for a movie, and it was set in Africa. And then I saw an animal that ran by, and it was from South America. And I was like, can't do it. Guys can't even do your basic research. What the flip? Like, it's quick Google. Does that animal belong in this movie? No, don't put it in there. Sorry, right. sorry. Side so tangent. Ta- oh. So, so past <laughs> the tangent of the dolphin <laughs> instead of a seal, the yeah, actual it, test, uh, I think is a not an amazing. It's just it's a fun test that oh, just make sure this thing does its job. That's it. Pretty much. Make sure nature happens the way it's supposed to. Protect Bam 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 from. What, did I just say bam, bam, bam? All right, I made sure I said bam, bam, bam. I think we were saying bam earlier. I'm getting sidetracked now. <laughs> uh, but protect bam, 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 and Rahel as they just get eaten and spewed out. I kind of like the idea of you're not really trying to accomplish anything. You're just trying to stop shit, which yeah. in turn makes the plan making. You have to make a plan just to be like, all right, how do goblins work? How, how many are there going to be with their giant sucky suck monsters? And right. We haven't even seen the natural predator, I feel like, unless some I don't remember. I only watched it was, this episode it, it's once. It's supposed to be like a dog creature and then the bull, which which kind of yeah. throws a big monkey wrench in there. It's like you got your natural predators, you got the uh goblins who aren't natural but are trying to steal the thing's fish, kind of like humans. Mm-hmm. And then you have this monster that's that rankers avoid. So watch out for that. And it's just like, wait, what? What what what, 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 what was that say? third one? Oh yeah, the dogs, you know, at the beginning. Yeah, the no, 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 no. <laughs> You said something that rankers avoid. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, what? What? No, 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 what? not at all. I, I, and the things like jumping ahead a smidge. The thing kills two people, right behind Hots. Like it just, it kills the two people that were with Hots. You're talking about the dog, right? The, the dog. No, no, the bull. No, the no, bull comes. It comes the, out of the bull. It comes out of nowhere and, and no, kills those people. Don't worry about yeah. the bull. No, 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 no. It, the <laughs> dog. You, you, it was probably the dog. You, I think <laughs> the dog, the yeah, dog. Yeah, you know what? The bull no, doesn't exist, Aaron. You, the, <laughs> the bull, it's in your imagination. <laughs> it totally wasn't chewing on someone in one of these things. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. You always got to, the show brings you back of it's gory as fuck. Sometimes. When it wants to, I thought for sure it was going to bite the dude in half and like half of it was going to fall in front of, uh, uh, Kuwabara. Sorry, I, I really wanted to say Shibasu, but at the same time, I wanted to say Kuwabara's son. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so I just kind of, sorry. But yeah, I thought for sure he was just going to go snap, and then the body was just going to fall in front of him. But no, he just kind of tosses it aside. How, how, how lovely of him. So before we get in depth on the bull, just a quick thing on the Dolphin game, which I think they might have told it that, or I just have it in my notes called the Dolphin game. I don't know. They but didn't have a name. It's uh, Kuhn has a plan, which he always has a plan. I, you kind of yeah. see what everyone's role is, like the fucking names wow lighthouses doing their lighthouse shit the yeah. spearmen doing their spearmen shit mm-hmm. and dorsey and i'll get to that later but we'll they, every, everyone's doing their thing that they're required to do for what they're described to do so it's pretty cool to see <laughs> that you see the one Minus girl boy. <laughs> yeah the one girl can uh i don't know what her power was she could summon mysterious fish and she can control the fish that live in the Shibisu, I guess. Like, yeah. Like it, I, the only thing I could think is it's just it's this world's version of like an animal trainer. It's pretty you know, much- like one of those, like a dragon tamer, except mm-hmm. her dragon is a fish. So she has a moment where she was like, "Oh, Coon's like, what the fuck? Why don't you say?" She's like, "I don't show off. I just a girl. That's kind of lame to show off." Which is, I, I agree with. Her. I'm like, "Oh, that's cool. It's lame, it's lame to show I, off." I, I don't even know if that's not know? showing off at that point. I feel like that's just. Oh yeah, I have this useful skill. I should not tell the guy making the plan for us to pass this. <laughs> yeah, that. No. What? Tell tell me the first thing. First thing you should do is tell me what you can do during this mission. Now nah, I'll wait till we're not busy. Or I'll wait. I'll wait till we're in it and we're in a. And situation. then I'll bring it up, so you have to think of a plan 
while the on the spot on the spot. Oh my god! But she sees a path like underneath, which is gonna hundred percent deal with something later sure. on to actually pass the test. But I mean, when it comes to the test, uh, Hots and Rack and uh, Green Guy, uh, the goblins are walking past with the alligators or not alligators. I don't know those big sea looking motherfuckers. Yeah, the and big worms. Somehow, for no some reason, uh, Hots is found, and the spearman, the green guy, throws his spear at it, kills the goblins, and now the goblins are aware that uh, people are trying to fuck with them. Which we'll see. It was going to happen that. either way. Yeah, it was going to I mean, happen either way, but it happened before I, Coons planned. Like Coons, like, wait, we're almost there. We're almost there, and they prematurely acted. Not they kind of had to. Sadly, yeah. but they got either Hots was going to cut him in half or the dude throws his spear. But now yeah. he doesn't have a spear. So it probably should have been Hots. But the other guy was like, oh, I, I re just reacted. Yeah, so he's lost the spear, which I didn't even think about. And yeah. I mean, Rack gets to fight at least. Good old Rack. I mean, eventually. Eventually. I want to see Rack it, go hardcore on somebody. So I am so. They keep like. They keep blue balls in me here, man. Like, <laughs> I want to see Rack just like destroy. Like. Like, all the goblins. Because I think he could. Like, I honestly think he could. Like, I just want to see him go to town. Go to and town. they just keep refusing to give me that. And I'm getting angry. <laughs> Let my baby boy loose on some people. All right. So now let's talk about the bull. Oh which we, like, we kind of already said. He ripped up two pieces. Killed at... I'm pretty sure killed. I'm not even going to say they're alive. They're 100% probably dead. Two the members one are, probably... Two members already dead yep and now it's just what was it shibasu or he killed them near hots and then he runs into shibasu and shibasu is like oh shit which yeah he throw and the monster is like not paying attention to him at all shibasu throws a rock almost eats him i was like i thought he was gonna die 100 dude like, i thought oh i my. was waiting for it i'm like oh no because his sword because the sword that he got from the girl dro like didn't mm. do anything and then he loses it immediately and then I was just like, oh shit, here he goes, here he goes. Nope. Last minute save. Last from Endorsey and Anak, which thank and God the for that save. And which 100% will come into play, which I think Anak or Endorsey will receive the black, get the black march from Anak during this episode. So. Uh, during the next one? Yeah. So they make a bet, like kind of how Anak and Bam Bam Bam, which I don't, I don't remember Bam Bam agreeing to it, but. Anywho, irrelevant. Irrelevant. <laughs> So she has both the Black March and uh, I forgot her sword's name. Not even a sword. Uh, it's not a sword either, but I'm just gonna call it that for simplicity's sake right now. Green August or something like that. The green, yeah, something like that. So I know. they make a bet. Like, and Dorsey's like, "Hey, if I win, if I kill this thing in five minutes, I get uh, both your weapons. If you kill it, I'll be your slave for the rest of your life." She's like, "Bet, big bet, bet and money." At first, uh, they're doing some work to it it's just like and i was kind of like oh this thing can beat rankers i was like a little confused when that was happening but then mm -hmm. we see why it can beat rankers because he the thing runs away they chase after it and the thing when they finally get to it well and dorsey gets to it it fucks up in dorsey has her tied up she goes unconscious mm -hmm. boom and then we see a knack by herself and then we see the uh, fake teacher that the fake wave controller teacher he pops uh, up and he's like I'm here to murder you, and I can get the your weapons from you and take them back. Your failure, all that stuff, blah blah blah. He attacks her, fatally wounds her, fatally wounds her, and he's like, "I have Endorsey. I was controlling it. He's kind of like the girl. He can control um, mythical creatures." So, yeah. And he's like, "Endorsey, if it doesn't make this fun death, Endorsey, you do it, pretty much." Which 100 percent is a dumb thing. He's gonna get fucked somehow because. At the end of the day, this is all part of the main administrator's plan. I don't think the main administrator is a bad guy. I think he's just one of those characters that's like, this all needed to happen. You know nah, what I mean? No, I think he's a dick. I think he's a dick. I, I I don't think so. I think this is like, it's not an act. Because if, if they live, they it's great. Fantastic. But if they die, Wait, we're, it doesn't matter. talking about the it dude that likes, like, like, that likes drinking, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, I think he's a dick. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, kind of, I, but... His actions are dickish, but I feel like there's a reason behind his actions. It, at the moment, I don't want a redemption arc for that character though, because he's led to the deaths. Like I don't. <laughs> he's led to two deaths or two deaths just, of people. Just in this already. episode, but, I, but who cares about that? He, Me. He might, 
Hey, that's not a redemption arc for someone. That's like, no. It's only know. two deaths? We What's his name led to, what, five, 497 deaths? Because the other dude allowed Quart? it. Quant? Like, he yeah. Lets, yeah. What do you mean? He, it's the tower. People enabled. are going to die. He enabled, he enabled him to do that. What, are you going to blame all the deaths that happened from Darth Vader on just Darth Vader? You know, Palpatine kind of pointed him in the direction. I mean, you Luke, know? We, all, we all know Luke kind of, when he blew up the Death Star, killed a lot of innocent people that were just kind of working. But, you know. Eh. Yeah, they were on the Empire side. They were evil. I'm just saying. <laughs> they were evil. But they so were the, evil. <laughs> the main thing is for this is it's going to be a motion of Anak and Dorsey. What's going to happen? How are they getting out this fucking situation? Because mm-hmm. right now everything looks screwed. Like I see why this is going to be the final arc for. I don't even know if this is an arc, but this is going to be the final part for this episode or the last two episodes. Is because it's kind of twisting together. Like kind of boom, we're going to see some consequences. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be the biggest fight. The animation very solid this episode. It's very solid yeah. most episodes, but like sometimes you see a little, it gets a little stiff. But today, I was watching it yeah, had a fantastic it time. I'll bet you anything and dorsey like somehow gets her hand on the black march and beats the crap out of that stupid looking te- teddy bear sheep thing nah she, she won't, if let me turn off my phone sorry about that bud uh she won't do anything if she just gets the black march remember it's not gonna work if you're not a hot guy oh yeah might she might take a nax weapon I, I, I kind of hope that they don't... Go, like, I don't think she's going to kill Anak. I really don't. No, like, no, I feel no, like no. That's I feel like that's way too happen. obvious. Anak and Dorsey 100% living through this, just mainly because I've seen Tower of God panels, and I was like, ah, well... Spoilers! Spoilers, <laughs> what do you mean? What did you think one of them was going to die? I If no, anyone was going to die, it's like it's probably going to be the green character. guy. The background yeah. guy. I don't think any of our main people will die at they the start. They armor. They won't have plot armor, I feel like, once they get the tower. But right now, they have plot armor for the, this first arc. And then once we get to the tower, I feel like a lot of them are going to fucking die. You can watch our one review when we talk about who we think is going to die. But <laughs> In what order? <laughs> I but, yeah, Go go on. No, nah, I just... Uh, I hate those stupid designs of, like, an overly cutesy character who's also vicious and really mean. Like, do you remember... Like, did you ever watch Kill a Kill? You don't like yandere's? Oh my! That, hey, no, no, not yandere's. You I mean the cute creatures. No, no, not like on the inside is gonna eventually go. Oh, you stupid baka, and then still love the character. No, no, I mean Pete characters that are like drawn overly cutesy, but then on the inside they are sadistic as all get out. Because that's what this character is. That's, it's literally just wait. a sheep that likes to kick people and stab them and be like, you know what's a better, funnier death? Have your f- new friend kill you. Wait, you know what I mean? Do you know the difference between Yandere and a Sundere, don't you? A Yandere and a Sundere? Oh, wait, was I thinking of Sundere? You are thinking of Sundere. Yandere. It's a Yandere, like, that will actually kill you. A Yandere is like, I will murder everyone that tries. To... If someone tried to break, like, let's say you're with somebody, I was like, in love with you, I'd kill them. Yeah, but this isn't a rom com, so. No, it's <laughs> most Yandere's aren't even rom coms. They're mostly. Let's just say, watch Future Diary. It's not that great, but sorry, Future Diary fans. That's a yandere where she will murder people. She will cut their heads off if they try to fuck with their love. Oh, well, yeah. No, this dude isn't in love with anyone. He just likes to mess with people, but he's drawn super cutesy. So I don't think it well, falls in the same remember, category. Remember, he's a uh, that's not what the he really looks like, because that's actually I know, but yeah. that he's wearing a costume. But I, those I got, things make I got me, your point. That kind of character design makes me so mad at the same. But it's a good it invokes an emotion out of me, so it's good. Yeah. <laughs> I hate it, but it invoked an emotion out of me. Therefore, I want him to be beaten even more. You know, like 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 the cutesy girl from Kill La Kill, who is like the most annoying thing on the planet. And I was so happy when she got her arms chopped off. Oh, it was great. Which it was girl? I never. There was it, it was in it, total derailing, but it was this really cutesy girl who messed with the main characters and beat the shit out of them and tortured them. And uh, oh, she was yep, made yep. out of. I, I, I know, I yeah. know who's on. She killed her father. Okay. Yep. 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 That one. Okay. That one. Yep. Her 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 voice haunts me to this day. <laughs> just it was so cute, I, but I, so I, demonic. I love <laughs> I love my little cutesy uh, sadistic motherfuckers. That's why I love Madoka Magica. You get you, it's cutesy, and uh, then episode three happens. <laughs> uh, All right, back to Tower of God. Yeah. <laughs> Distracted. So Bam's dream. Let's talk about Bam's dream. 
which is mm. his accomplishment, what he wants to achieve, why he's different from everybody. Bam already has achieved his goal. Oh, yeah. Bam, I'm recording right now. Okay. I'll talk to you in a second. He just saw he just finished Final Fantasy VII, I'm assuming. And what was it? Uh, who my mind? Bam. Bam's Bam already doing, had. Yeah, Bam it. already achieved already achieved his goal, which is why I think everyone's taking interest in him. He's kind of like the opposite of Luffy, where he, Luffy attracts people because something special about him, and Bam attracts people because he's just different. Of everyone else is seeking something because they're going into the tower. They're seeking. They want something. While Bam has already got what he wants. He wants to be with Rahal. He wants to see Rahal smile. He wants to sit at the lunch table with his friends. That's all Bam wants. He doesn't care about fighting. He doesn't care about this power struggle. He's got what he wants. However, him climbing this tower, he's going to slowly lose that. Like, Shibusu was like, I, we want to keep him smiling, kind of. But he's going to lose that while climbing the tower. Then he's going to have to, while he's climbing it, people are going to die. He's going to feel I'm sad scared. and sad. Well, it just kind of I mean, sucks for him, someone like him, to have to climb the tower. I know. In my notes, I kept writing, "This guy is too precious for this world." Like <laughs> he needs to be protected they, at all cost. I know because they were cutting back and forth between some messed up stuff back to him being all hopeful and optimistic, and it just kind of like shows the duality of like people are dying to find to and struggling, and he's just like, "I already have everything. I'm already happy. I'm with Rachel. It, everything is good." And I'm like, "Oh, you are too precious." You are too precious for this world. People, Do not change. People are literally dying for that smile. <laughs> literally, two people did die this episode for that smile. Literally. I gotta see <laughs> the two that died. I'm pretty sure one was the one that Coon had in his bag, and I don't know the other one. Be- Jesus Christ! I'm just he was cut in half. Which I've seen way worse. Watch Blood Sea if you ever want to see something horrible. But gosh, no, <laughs> not no. horrible no. in the sense of bad, but horrible in the sense of. It's it's pretty dark. It makes it makes you look and you're like you see some it, it's some crazy shit that happens there. Thanks. I'm fine. I'll be good. <laughs> and I don't think I don't think there's really much left to this episode. Uh besides it, it it just sets up next week and I'm sure it's just going to be craziness for the last two episodes and then it's going to end on a major cliffhanger. I think as the video guys, uh we don't I don't you know, set up for the next episode. Aaron, you got any uh, last words? Man, you always put me on the spot, and then I got to come up with something really insightful. It's like I'm not that philosophical, man. I just I got I got to write things down. <laughs>